Hello friends, in today's video, we'll see how to remove shadow effects from an image. For this demonstration, I have selected this image where we can see hand shadow falling on our face. First, I will duplicate the layer, Control J. And if I zoom it, we have to do a selection using any selection method on the edges of this shadow. You can use any selection tool like lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool. I will use pen tool because I want to have a precise selection. So I'll go with pen tool do the selection inside the edges not outside the edges two to three pixels inside i'll go on doing the selection okay just make sure at least it's on the edges the part should follow the edges I'll speed up this process. It's better to have a proper precise selection or else if the shadow effects are more then in that cases you can use quick selection or any other easy selection options. I have completed the selection. I will right click inside the selection and click on OK. So this will select the shadow. Click on curve adjustment layer. This will create a layer mask along with curve adjustment layer. Increase the midtones brightness till the point where I can see the inside the shadow skin tone, it matches outside the skin tone. So the inside shadow effect skin color, it is matching with the outside edges of the skin color. Once it is done, we'll select the layer mask layer. I want to remove this sharp edges of the shadows so i'll go to filter blur and gaussian blur make sure the layer mask layer is selected and in the gaussian blur select the set the radius value something around 20 to 30 that depends on the image for this image i can keep it somewhere around 20 we are able to have a blur edges now. You can see we have the blur edges. Now I will have a blank layer above the curve adjustment layer. For this blank layer, I will apply 50% gray color. And then I'll go to blending option. I will change it to color. Now we have turned our color image into black and white where I can clearly see the skin tone color. If, if the skin tone inside the edges it's not matching with the outside you can use curve adjustment again now i will click on smudge option smudge tool keeping the strength somewhere between 40 percent make sure the layer mask is selected and slowly you can brush on the edges so you can see the areas are getting blended with this 
other skin parts so we are able to remove the feather edges using smudge tool we can continue this process on all the edges we are able to blend the edges with the skin just make sure the strength is reasonable okay so next i will click on brush tool keeping the foreground color white and brush hardness should be zero then softly brush on the edges make sure the flow is 40 percent and you can softly brush on the edges this removes the harsh edges which was left over from the smudge tool okay so you can continue the process on the rest of the areas okay now to see before after, after effects i'll just hide the top 50% gray layer now we can see we are almost able to remove the shadows and it's a good work now i have to remove this white patches what we see here so which i can remove using soft healing spot healing tool patch tool and other retouching brushes I don't need this 50% gray, so I'll just remove that. Okay, so let's use retouching tools and remove the white spots. So for that, I, I will merge all the layers using Control Alt Shift E. Control Alt Shift key is a shortcut to merge all the layers and it will give a single combined layer now we have to remove these white spots so first i will use patch tool so select a small patches and remove the white spots okay so we can see we are able to remove the white spots so you can continue the process on the rest of the areas. Okay, so let's continue the process. Okay, and we can, if there is still some white lines or any patches, we can use spot healing brush tool on that. So we are able to do good job using patch tool. Using spot healing brush tool, we can remove the leftover white spots and we can do some final retouching. The image already, it looks good. Now we are able to remove the shadow effects from the image. So yes, it looks really fine. Okay, I'll just show you the before after effect. Okay, this is after. Okay, friends, so this is how we can remove shadows from an object. Thank you.